Well, they're, they're a good football team, period. You know, we had, I have still memory of last year, you know, we played them early last year. I don't think everybody had any idea they were going to finish up ninth in the country, you know, win the Cotton Bowl and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, they, they, just, they just play good. You know what I'm saying? They don't, when you, when you watch them, you can, you can kind of make a mistake, start saying, well, I don't see all these freaks out there. You know, I don't see all that. Uh, you know, last year now they had two linebackers, I think, playing in the league and stuff like that. But they just play so good. There's, they don't make mistakes. You know, like there's, somebody's always in their gap. They cover their guy. You don't, you don't see a lot of explosive plays, especially in the run game. Nobody gets any runs over 12 yards. They keep the ball in front of them. Uh, and they just, they're just very good at what they do. It has been a lot of good defenses. This league's turned into a really good defensive league, and we've drawn all those good ones, I guess. I don't, I don't know the ones we don't play. I don't know much about what's going on, but uh, it will be a, a great challenge for us. But, uh, you know, we're, we're hanging in there. I'll be honest with you. I know that uh, it looks like the sky's probably going to fall, but I don't believe it's going to. Uh, our players are having fun, and Coach is doing a great job of keeping everybody going, and we're making some improvements. I know that it's not shown in the results because it's a win business, and so that's really all that matters. But uh, we had some guys play good last week. We got to get some more guys playing good. Yeah. Different coordinator this time around. A yeah. lot less three, a lot more man. Do you kind of take that into consideration as far as play calling, how to get this receiver open, and how does that go through the week? Yeah, you do. They, they're they having some of the issue. You know, you, you do good, and then people want your coaches, and they take them, and so we got a new coordinator. but. Uh, we, we're, we're familiar with him a little bit from Troy. You know, you, you do your research in the summer knowing that that's coming. Uh, he was at Army. You know, some, some of the guys on the staff actually know him pretty well. I think Coach Thompson actually was going to work with him at one time. Uh, they are a little more man. I think that's something because their, their defense are, backs are all back. I think they probably feel like they can do that this year. Probably this time last year they, they were a little more drop eight, keep the ball in front of them. And then as they've gotten better, they've gotten a little bit more aggressive and playing man. So yeah, you have to attack, you know, with, with your system, you have to kind of go attack what are they doing defensively. Uh, you know, in the passing game, especially man coverage is, is obviously different than zone. So you're gonna try to run different routes. There's gonna be different reads, but for the most part, they, they can mix it up. So you have to have a system where, you know, you throw it here versus man, you throw it here versus zone and the quarterbacks have to read that. And uh, they can switch it up a lot, and that's where the difficulty gets. And then they can put some pass rush on you too, and they mix the blitz in with it. So, uh, yeah. Alex Fun probably come off one of his better performances statistically. What did you think kind of he did well last week? I, I thought it was his best game. I, I think he played uh, his best because he played it his best more. Uh, and I'm encouraged by that. Uh, you know, quarterback, the, the number one thing is just making the decision. There's so many decisions that you have to make to be good at quarterback in, in the game today. And in our system, the quarterback really has to do that. You know, we had, <clears throat> we had 79 plays last week. And there were, <clears throat> and we're trying to make it simpler on the quarterback, there were 48 times his decision determined the outcome of the game. That's a lot on the, on the guy. Now. He was 40 out of 48, which may or may not be good enough. Okay, I guess it wasn't good enough to win the game, but it was good enough to start putting us in the game and giving us a chance against a, a good team. So I'm encouraged by that. Uh, and he made some some throws, and there's still some improvement there to, to, to make better throws. Sometimes they're even complete, but you're completing it a little bit behind him versus maybe hitting him on the run. It makes a difference in making a first down or maybe turning that into a big play. Uh, but yeah, he's he's trending good right now, so we're excited about that, and hopefully he can continue that. How do you keep him kind of wrapped in bubble wrap yeah. until game day, and, and and even on game day, prevent him from taking some of those runs? You know, he's running the ball a lot, and that's the one thing. You know, I know we're we're all thinking like, okay, you know, you know, Mason's your runner, and Alex is your thrower, which is not totally the truth. But Alex is, you know, he had twenty carries now. Five of those were sacks, so we got to eliminate those. That's that's something there, and they're not all his fault, obviously. But a couple of them were. You got to get rid of the ball. Uh, some of them were called runs. Okay, not many of them. Some of them are reads because they just you know there's zone reads and there's things like that you have to do if the guy takes the run back. You have to keep the ball. Uh, 
and then some of them where he just pulled them down and took off, and that's what he did a really good job of. There were some times when guys were just covered, and they had rushed hard, and he saw an open door, and he took it and uh, showed some toughness. And I think he's learning. He's a pretty tough guy. I don't know if he knew that. You know, you, you, you go four years, and you don't play. And you know, and you don't get hit in practice as a quarterback because you just you just can't hit the quarterbacks and they, they'd get hurt. Uh, four years of not getting hit, I think after the first game, he's like, "Wow, you know what hit me? What you know what would I get run over by?" But each week, I think he's bounced back quicker. Like the first Sunday, man, I didn't even be able to go for a couple of weeks. And the second week, it, it may be Thursday, but every week, and this week, he took some shots, and Sunday he was ready to go. I was like, okay, you're, you're getting in game-like condition. You're getting used to getting hit like that. It, it is something like that. So uh, the team is pretty good about staying away from the quarterbacks out there. Coach kind of <laughs> emphasizes that. You know, Coach Tesh and those guys, they understand. We'll play a lot more snaps on defense if the quarterback's not healthy for, for the offense. So it, it, we, we have a good group here that, that does a good job of doing that. How did you sort of bottle up the momentum you had in the first half last week, try to bring it into this game? Yeah, you know, we, we, I was talking to the guys. I was like, okay, so we get off to a good start. What, do, what did y'all think? Well, I mean, why did y'all think that? Uh, because the week before, we practiced better probably than we had that week, you know. Uh, so, you know, Alex said, well, you know, getting that first completion really relaxed me. And I thought, well, you know, it was a long pass, too. You know, you only, when you're saying you want to do that for a quarterback, you're going to try to get him a hitch route or a bubble or something really easy to get him going. And, and we didn't do that because we thought we needed to throw the ball deep early on them. We knew they were going to sit out on us. Uh, so that probably helped him even more, though, to make a big throw like that. So uh, he's, he's never real up and he's never real down, and that's kind of a good thing. I'm trying to get him to be a little bit more up, though, just a little bit. But I, I think he's gaining confidence. And I think a lot of that's coming. I'm feeling that the team, the receivers, the offensive line, are starting to believe in them. And, and you know, I mean, that's been a big issue. We haven't been good on offense. We, we all know that. And I know that more than anybody knows that. So uh, it's just good that something seems like they are starting to believe in that. And, and that's really what it takes, you know, from the quarterback is everybody has to think we're okay. He's gonna he's gonna get us in the right play. He's gonna make the right play. He, he's gonna make a throw, and so I, I'm feeling that from the team. I hope that's gonna result in some some positivity out there in the field and, and, and get a win because that's all we're trying to do is just win. Don, yeah, I I know scoring touchdowns. You, yeah. you want to score any way you can kind of get yeah, it, but, but getting a couple to wide receivers. I mean, what does that do for the team? Maybe maybe that's that belief you're talking about. Yeah, but, well, it is because because then they're in better moods and stuff. Jalen Johnson had a really good game all around blocked well you know uh just caught balls I, I just it was a shame we didn't hit him on the one that got intercepted in the end zone that was a huge play for us right there they, they brought him all out blitz and the i don't want to put him out of the bus but one guy blocked the wrong way okay they brought all out blitz so one guy's going to be free but we wanted the guy that was going to be free to be in his face because he could see that and make the throw and we left the guy behind him so right when he was throwing he got hit so he threw the ball inside, and Jalen did everything he could do to go get it. Jalen had, had it was the same play we had scored on earlier, and uh, Jalen had made a really good catch on that. So I think Jalen just had a good game all over. He caught the ball, he ran with the ball after after the catch. I think Chase so well just starts. You know, every every day, every game, I see him coming on. You know, he's got three more years after this year. I, unfortunately, Jalen does not have any more years, but we just see him coming on and. Uh, Got to, we got to get a back going a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? We, we haven't established any of those enough. I thought Gerald Green being back gave us a little spark. Everybody was kidding him. Oh, fresh legs. Okay, you know, fresh legs. Everybody else is tired. But I, I just thought his energy, I think he was just so happy to get to play again after being hurt. We've obviously missed Javis Bond a term, a, more than we could have ever imagined, uh, I think, you know. Uh, so. Raji was still trying to get him going just a little bit, but Raji, he's, he's been great. He's still our leader. He's still the one that's keeping everybody up. I asked Coach Houston last week about uh, Jeter and if he would like to get him back on the field this year, and yeah. he said yes. Is he coming along where if he has to go in due to an emergency or yeah. a blowout that you could see him run the offense? Yeah, I think it's good, good conversation there. We, we, me and Mike talked earlier, first thing this week, about you know the rule says you can play four. And we surely, you'd like to use the rule to every bit of advantage you can. 
it's just been, it's just hard to get them going. I, you know, we, we've we gone with the two quarterbacks trying to help each other. It really hasn't worked, obviously, in the results, you know, department. So I just don't want to take away. Like, we got going Saturday, and, you know, Alex got us going. I mean, we had three drives to open the game. We scored ten points. But it could have easily been another score in there or two or another touchdown in there. I mean, <laughs> And so you just felt like, okay, we're, we're, we're finding some rhythm. We're finding some kind. You don't want to change that up. So it's just been hard. And if there's any way possible, we do want to get him in. And I do believe in him a lot. He, he, uh, he just needs those reps too. Just so, because game reps are just different than any other rep you can give them. Practice is great. You got to do it. All this other stuff, film study. But again, making decisions and then making accurate throws, it's just different in the game. So you're never really going to know what they can do till you can get them in the game. Uh, I don't see us blowing Tulane out, obviously, in this game. I'm surely positive that that's not going to happen the opposite way. So it, I, I can't say that he's going to get in, but he's kept a good attitude. He's working. He's, he'll have four more years either way. Someday he'll, he'll have his opportunity, I feel sure. It feels like y'all – Try to get the screen game going a little yeah. bit, and even like the plays are there, and maybe just a miss throw there, a miss block there. How frustrating is the that? The most been? frustrating thing is when you come back, and, and you think maybe you'd think, well, this is a good thing. You let you go, oh, this was there. It's just like the very first third down of the game, they brought another all-out blitz, and it was a new blitz we hadn't seen it. And there's going to be one guy free, and Jalen was wide open, and he just missed him. You know, he just missed him. He overthrew him. That's a catch and run for a score. I mean, he's literally open by five yards. The screen game, we have not been good enough at it. I've been trying to get us better at it. We kind of just got going and said, all right, we're going to commit to a screen and then a screen off of that screen. And we had that for a touchdown too. And he, he it just barely hit the turf. And it was a good call. It did hit the turf. If he could have just gotten it to him. Now, it's a screen, always, a good screen always looks like you're getting ready to get sacked. Because if they don't rush, it ain't going to work. So he did a great job of letting them get close. He just couldn't quite make the throw over there to, to uh, Jari. Uh, but, yeah, we got to keep working those things because uh, I think those help your protection. Even if it doesn't turn into a big play, sometimes now the D-line has to, okay, I'm getting in here too easily. That's a screen, you know, so, you know. You kind of hit on it with Joe earlier about what they do defensively. Yeah. You mentioned the word blowout. You you did blow these guys out two years ago. Yeah, we did. Is it kind of shocking? The Cotton Bowl champion, like just two years later. You know, here and, and and we brought this up. Okay, that we really have in the offense room. We started it, and I think it might have spread to the rest of the staff. We were talking, and uh, said, you know, these guys came up here the last time. We 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 handed it to them, and uh, then somebody said, well, yeah, they weren't very good that year. We we're like, well, you're right. They were two and ten. And the next year they're not in the nation. So it can play in today's world, what the way college football is now, it, it is one year to the next year is a total different type of deal. I mean, because the way teams, the rosters change. And they did a great job of that. They got better in one year. Uh, the other thing was that somebody was telling me that the Panthers went one in fifteen and went to the Super Bowl the next year. So you usually think it's a process. I know when we got here, we said this may be a three or four year process, you know, coming in here, and it and it did take us that. Uh, today, you ain't got that time anymore. You know, nobody's got that time. Nobody's got that kind of patience anymore. But now you can flip your roster quicker, and you can just do more things. So uh, we still have four, so we're not talking much to the team about next year, you know. I, uh, but as a staff. We're definitely talking long term. I mean, we have a recruiting meeting tonight, and we will be talking. Obviously, recruiting you're talking long long term, uh, but you know we're talking immediate needs too. It, it's like the NFL now. There's a high school board. There's a free agency board sitting over here. You know, and you're looking and saying, "Where's where's where, where, where we need help next year quicker, faster?" All right. Thanks, coach. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Have a good one. Good to have you back, Iger.